We're on Bay Street on this edition of Ward Wednesdays at the lift station closest to Aquatic Gap. And we're gonna talk about some sewage issues that we want you to keep top of mind. This lift station is a key component in our sewage network, but it can only work if you play your part as well. To tell us what you need to do while you're on lockdown at home, we have Verilan Scott. She's an industrial waste inspector with the Barbados Water Authority. Verilan, so good to have you on the show again. We're out and about because we are essential workers. We got to get the job done. What do customers need to know now that they're at home under lockdown? Of course, people tend to eat more while they're at home for long periods of time. Exactly. So we're going to have preparation of more meals at home for the family. And we're going to urge customers at this time to be very mindful and to implement best management practices going forward. And this refers to how you handle your fats, oils and greases generated from your meals. So rather than just taking the frying pan or the plate and just dumping the remnants of the meal, we are asking you to wipe all of the remnants from the meal and then proceed to the sink. Other customers have this notion, this misconception rather, that if you use hot water, it will dissolve the grease and it's all fine and dandy. Yes, it will dissolve the grease at the source, but however, when it comes through the network, it will cool at some point, and then that poses a threat to you, the customer, and then to us on the network. Mm -hmm. And that will then reduce the quality of service we are producing, we are providing for our customers. Now, this is a national pause. Uh, what happened the last time? What did the Barbados Water Authority observe the last time Barbados was on lockdown? During the last lockdown, we would have observed a significant increase in the amount of fats, oils and greases coming into the system, both at our Bridgetown treatment plant and our South Coast Network treatment plant as well. So we want customers again to implement best management practices because due to the fact we would have seen all of this grease and we would have posed some threats to our pumps and we don't want to have a repeat of that again. So we really implement, asking customers to implement best management practices going forward. Mm -hmm. Now we could only hope that businesses before the lockdown would have done some grease trap maintenance. It's something that people should be doing year round, checking their grease trap, especially if you have a food establishment. Now the lockdown will come to an end and these businesses will be back up and running. What should they do when that time comes? Well, based on the activity they would have had before the national pause, we were asked them to observe what the grease trap would have looked like. Obviously, if you didn't have the chance to clean it, we're going to ask you to clean the grease trap before you perform any activities going forward uh, when the, uh, we're allowed then to open up for business. And I know for the most part that the Water Authority has been trying to work with businesses in getting them to comply. But remind our viewers, especially those business owners, what happens if you continue not to comply? Well, we will give you a fair amount of notices for you to get compliant. However, we know we are facing a lot of challenges uh, by monetary constraints. So we're going to ask customers to try to abide by our rules and regulations. However, if you fail to do that, you can face penalty and or imprisonment. Mm -hmm. And we also encourage you not to see your toilet as some type of garbage disposal. The only things that should be going down your toilet are pee, who and paper. Remember the three Ps. Thank you so much, Vera Land. Thank you and that's well. it for this edition of Water Wednesdays. Please stay safe and stay at home during this national pause and follow those COVID-19 protocols. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages for additional information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can find this show there. You can help prevent sewage issues. Use strainers and sink drains and floor drains. Dispose grease and oils correctly. Stop, think, before you put it down the sink. A message from the Barbados Water Authority. For more information on the proper disposal of waste, go to www.barbadoswaterauthority.com and like us on Facebook.